All right, hey, good day, everybody. We're here at Premier RV Sales and Service in Junction City, Oregon, hanging out, and I'm going to be doing a dash radio in a Lure 470. It's got the double din, so that's one, two, making two slits. It's going to be the Sony product today. I haven't talked too much about it in the past, but I wanted to uh, do a quick little video of this install, and then I'll show you a Pioneer that I just did where it's a double din hole also and i did a single din radio so we'll kind of put them both together but this one here we'll do a little more show and tell so i've got everything gutted out of here all laid on the floor here's my factory country coach side of the plug here's my rear camera powers and ground because they were not tapped into this side my radio antenna and then my auxiliary audio port in so that's going to be right here i think i'm going to have to put in a USB port just above it so I just wanted to give you a quick show and tell and an intro on what we got going on here that's a lure 470 with the dash radio upgrade but let's get started Hey everybody, we're back in the coach. As you saw, I did a little bit of a time lapse there or fast forward through uh, what all I did on making that trim ring. I'm back in the coach. I've taken out the stock radio can. I've got that black painted can here and I've got those holes in the side to be able to mount that new radio. So I'm gonna go ahead, install that in here. Then I've got the pins and I'm gonna actually pin this uh, stock well the radio harness and put the stock plug on the end of it and then be able to plug that in I'll show you some of that and the simple integration of getting the uh, backup camera interfaced into here so let's go ahead and get this thing mounted up and uh, finish this installation all right so we've got this radio all installed now on that i just wanted to cover real quick because i didn't it's color for color for if you're taking it out if you're doing the sony the kenwood the pioneer the alpine there's a universal color code so i you get to simply go by that um that camera i got it powered up i've got the radio all installed here as you can see in the dash i've got that usb port here on the side as you can see this is the installation of it now the reason why we didn't put a pocket in the bottom is because you actually have the smart tire up here across the top so that way you can still see that while you're going down the road we mounted it low and so that's why you end up with that abs piece covering that top din hole and not a pocket in the one i'm going to show you here in a minute in the intrigue because we didn't have the tire pressure sensor we actually got to move that up and put the pocket in the bottom of it but here's that sony with it going wanted to show you that now i've got my phone plugged into that usb port that i pulled out the auxiliary port because this doesn't have aux in and i use the usb so as you can see here if i hit carplay that's going to bring my phone up you can see i use the ways for my navigation so that covers that and then if i go back here that takes me to the radio and then i can simply go in here and select what i want to listen to and so on and so forth 
So that pretty much covers the integration on that. This one here, if you're driving down the road, you don't want to see the monitor going all the time. You can press and hold this. This particular coach has a camera switch right here. So if you want to turn the camera on, you just simply hit that switch. It brings up the backup image there. You turn it back off, it goes off. If you hit the home button, you can also bring it up right here on the screen without hitting that switch. As soon as you hit the home button again, it looks like, then you can hit CarPlay and take it back there. Now this particular unit does have the Sirius option. He didn't elect for that. Of course, you could integrate to the Bluetooth, be able to use your phone, so on and so forth. If you sweep it to the side, you can get to the other options. So here we are back to the CarPlay and then we can go to whatever we want to have playing on that or change, use the ways and what have you. So that covers that Sony. This is going to be the Sony uh, XAV-AX8000. So if you're interested in that, you can always uh, check that out on the internet and uh, get some more information on the price and availability on the Sony. Let's uh, go wrap this up and show you the uh, Pioneer installation. All right, I made my way down to this Intrigue uh, 530. I wanted to show you the Pioneer single DIN installation that is in here. So here it is. It's got that backup camera here in the corner, small. If you tap on that, then it brings up to the full screen. Let me throw on this light I brought in here as a substitute. But as you can see, there's a pocket below it. So that was a double DIN installation like that other one except since we could do the radio up high we did that and then the double din in the very bottom and now if i hit this x it'll take me out of there and then i can go into hd radio or bluetooth or whatever it be and then i can hit this home button again here it takes me back to this screen hit here and that gets me going there so that's the pioneer i want to say this is the a and x this that and the other i'll uh put a uh, the model number of this particular unit in the description down below we kind of wanted to show you that and then this coach we did the undercoach lighting on it and got it into the intellitech system also uh, just about ready to wrap up a new tv here on the pop-up we kind of wanted to show you that there so i've got that wired into the dash home switch so it automatically turns on when you flip the switch to the speakers in the ceiling and that's kind of the way that is so all right everybody quick little video for the day wanted to show you doing one of those double din installs in the sony and the pioneer now of course kenwood makes one that's a double din and then alpine makes one again that is a single din unit also so all right everybody have a great day don't forget to subscribe tell me what you think in those comments and hit the like buttons but till next time Take care now. Bye-bye.